Now again, you might say, Tom, why are you referring to yourself in third person? Well, A block of wood is never just a block of wood. It's a starting line. It's alive with possibility. Listen carefully. It's saying something softly. Let's do something. So one of the things I really like to do with chests of drawers is use white pine for the drawer sides because it's so stable and it's light and it works beautifully, but it's soft and it wears pretty easily. So I'm laminating a piece of hard maple to the bottom edge. And I do that by putting a wider piece between two sides, about three quarters of an inch, glue it in, and then we'll rip right down the middle to be, end up with about a 5 sixteenths piece of hard rock maple on the bottom to make this a long lasting drawer. And that's it. We'll just let it set up for a bit, come back and rip them apart. Oops, missed that one. my very expensive, sophisticated micro spacer. I think that was about a two piece of green tape gap. Hope I'm right. We need one piece of white tape. <laughs> uh, 
go a little tight. That's good. All right, now, so I'm fitting the drawer sides and the drawer fronts. Now, one key thing to think about is these drawer sides are gonna be expanding and contracting with the changes in humidity throughout the year. In the summer, everything expands and gets tight. In the winter, we've got that dry air and everything gets to its minimal dimension. So it's winter right now. So I wanna fit these a little looser than I normally would in the summertime so I can allow for a little expansion later on. Now I'm just giving it about a 30 second or so and a little more I'll have on the lower drawers. But once I make the drawer, we'll actually hand plane more off and do that fine adjustment to give the, just the proper gap we want. So the fronts and the backs, I want to cut to a press fit. So it just fits in the opening. Then once the dovetails are cut, I'll just skim off the pins and we'll have the perfect piston fit into each opening. Okay. All right, here we go. Got lucky. More dovetails. These are a lot like the top and bottom, but a little more precision, and these will be completely hands on. Now again, you might say, Tom, why are you sawing over? Well, I'm doing that because it's so traditional. A lot of times in the old drawers, like if you get to see an old period piece of furniture and you can pull open the drawer, check out inside, and you nine times out of 10, you'll see over saw cuts on the dovetails. And that helps to clean the material out inside the joint. And also it leaves the little sign that you were there. This first cut is just above the groove and by sandwiching them together you're able to use the material on either side so that you can guide the saw and just saw into basically nothing on the top here. So you end up with like a little feather of wood on the top of the groove. And straight down. This white pine is so soft it's 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 really a pleasure to cut dovetails in it's very forgiving not that we need that
just like the just like the big panels. If glue gets on the table, it sure not gets on your drawer. <laughs> so good table maintenance is key. Nice. And the front can only go one way if you're looking at the groove. Those look nice, they're not yappy at all. And you can see that healing factor, how they just come right up tight. Now I'll get my calls in here. Just set them back behind the cherry. And it'll compress around the pins and seat that side nicely. That's good. There you go. Now these don't have to stay on long at all because once you remove them, there's no real stress for the joint to open up again. They're just mechanically fit. Once they're seated, they'll be staying. So I'll just leave the clamps on for a couple minutes and then pop them off and check for square. If it's out of square, we'll just nudge it a little bit, get it locked in. And then for bonus, we can try fitting it into the opening and let it dry there, or we can just leave it here in, in its square shape. Gonna let it sit there and set up. When it dries, we'll skim the pins and get a really sweet piston fit.